Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahusha, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, What If You Die? Lord, will you are edified. This video was inspired by a video Seed of Israel composed and their video is titled, What If Black People, Negroes, Band Together Like the Taliban Did and Took Back Their Country. So many things wrong with this title. First and foremost, the Taliban was created by the CIA. And also, it's my Assumption, speaking as a man, seed of Israel, has been compromised. Now, what entity, I don't know. But one thing is for sure. They are agents. Now, according to the Etiman, an agent, one who acts... They are acting in the spirit of Satan. How do you know? Because this title goes against the protocol of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Now remember, agent one who acts John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father the devil. The ye Yahweh Shah is referring to our wicked Israelites. Your father referring to Cain, meaning they came in that same spirit, the spirit of Satan. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bold, not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speak a lie, he speak of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. John 18 and 35, Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priest have delivered thee unto me. What have you done? Verse 36, Yahweh answered, My kingdom is not of this kingdom. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. Yahweh Shah was not in this mindset. He understood that the will of Yahweh had to be performed and completed. He never instructed us to take back our country. Matthew 10 and 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go preach, not fight, not initiate a coup, but preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Luke 22 and verse 48. But Yahweh Shah said unto him, Judas, betrays you the son of man with a kiss? When they which were about him saw what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with the sword? Meaning what? Fight. Fight back. Resist. Verse 50. And one of them smote the servant of the high priest. And that one is referring to Peter. And cut off his right ear. Verse 51. And Yahweh shall answer and said, Suffer ye thus far. 
and he touched his ear and healed him. And what happened? Yahweh Shah allowed himself to be arrested. And he had access to spiritual power. However, he understood it wasn't time for that. Isaiah 47 and verse 4. And for our Redeemer, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushua of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. The Most High will set us free. Okay? Utilizing his Son. Acts 5 and 36. For before these days rose up Thutis, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who was slain, and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to naught, to nothing. All right? You cannot initiate a coup and think you will have great results. You will die because the Most High has already established a Redeemer for the nation of Israel. Romans 10 and 1, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. Saved by who? Matthew 1 and 21, and she shall bring forth a son and you shall call his name Yahweh Shah. For he, for he, for he shall save his people from their sins. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? These scriptures support that if you attempt to take back anything, to utilize a mindset to establish carnality, a carnal warfare, you will die. So my question is, what if you die, nigga, or if that's the statement? That's the statement. What if you die? Because that's what's going to happen. Lord will you edify Shalom.